Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Billy and Jing. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is gonna be an amazing day because we will be eating Malaysian food for the whole day. That's right. Join us for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All Malaysian food um, all around Melbourne, basically. So there's actually a lot of Malaysian restaurants that are really, really good here in Melbourne, but we can't cover them all. So we'll probably create some sort of playlist down the line where we try to cover different types of food. But just for today, um, this is the first one, so hope you guys enjoy it. Yes, before we get to it, if you like our channel and would like to support us, make sure you like and subscribe. See you guys there. See you guys there. Bye. Bye. Alright guys, we're just in a restaurant right now. Um, so the cafe is called Raya and they basically uh, specialize in Southeast Asian like little pastry bits. Um, but they're also a cafe so they serve like cakes and all that stuff. So we've ordered breakfast and it's arrived. And to start off we have Teh Dare, which is Malaysian pulled tea and this is absolutely delicious. Now along with that we bought like two different type of kueh. And kueh is basically like a Southeast Asian nyonya like cake and it's typically um, cooked uh, with ingredients like tapioca starch, coconut milk and glutinous rice, all the good stuff. So what we have here, the green one and the white bit, that's called kueh talam, which is um, the top bit is coconut milk, tapioca starch and, and the bottom bit is it's pretty much the same but it has mung bean um, paste in there and also has pandan leaf extract, that's why it's green. And this other one here is called pulu indi which is a steamed glutinous rice kueh and on the top it's got coconut um, shavings that's cooked down with gula malaka which is like absolutely divine and super delicious now moving on what we have here is a classic classic malaysian breakfast and it is literally just two soft boiled eggs or half like half boiled egg and we have kaya toast on the side and so i'll just put the eggs aside first but for the kaya toast it's literally just two pieces of white toast there's kaya jam in there, which is a coconut jam cooked with a sugar and egg and they put a nice block of butter in there and it's just really really delicious, creamy, sweet and rich. Um, so how you're meant to eat it is you're meant to put white pepper on the soft boiled eggs, soy sauce, season it how you like it, mix it up and then dip the toast in there and just straight at it. So enough talking, we're going to get started now. I'm just gonna season the egg first with some pepper. Oh, that's, that's too much. That's a lot of pepper. I like a pepper. I like white pepper, but not black. Oh, yes. That is how you do it. Mix it. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Do you know what's better? Have it with the Gaia toast. Look at oh, that. Yes. So crispy. Oh yes. <laughs> that looks really good. Mm. Crispy and sweet. And you dip it in your half boiled yeah, egg. Yeah, that's the Malaysian way. Cover that. Oh, you need more. You need more. More. Way more. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's that's good enough. There we go. Mm. So satisfying. Finish and off then, for the data rate. Okay, what's the drink? All right. Mm, perfect combo. That's the way. Yeah. yeah. Proud Very of good. you. Okay, guys. Um, I'm just gonna try the gray first. Start with this one, Kuei Tan. Looks so cute and so soft like a baby. <laughs> yeah, baby So Kuei. yeah, I had this in Malaysia before. It's really good. So, yeah. Mm. The green part, pandan flavor is really strong. Perfectly combined with the coconut flavor on the top. Top one texture is a tiny bit harder than the bottom one. Bottom, it's very creamy. If you like coconut and pandan, this is for you. Very nice. All 
Alright guys, the last way uh, for breakfast, it, which is um, Bulu Inti. So, look at it. It looks so cute, look at it. So this is a banana leaf, you have to unwrap it, uh, both sides. And then, look at it, oh my god. So cute and beautiful. So that's essentially glutinous rice, and that's uh, steamed with coconut milk. And yeah, coconut shavings on top, as I mentioned. Oh my god. It smells so good. Wow. You got that banana leaf coating, which flavors the rice outside. But once you chew into the rice, it's very glutinous, very coconutty, very delicious. Mm. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's blue because they use a butterfly pea flower to uh, stain the, the rice. Oh, this is one of my favorite. This is really, really good. Actually, in fact, this kuei, and also I like kuei lapis, which is the layered kuei, and also the apambale. Who doesn't love apambale? So, cheers. All right guys, we're just gonna finish off breakfast here and then we're just gonna go for a walk or something. We'll see you guys at lunch. All right guys, we're at our lunch location, Gai Wang, and literally means chicken king. And yes, that's right, we're here for their Hainanese chicken. That's right. Yeah, I can't wait. Super excited, we'll see you guys when the food gets here. Woohoo! All right guys, so we're just seated down now with order of food and everything has arrived. Now, as Jing mentioned, this place is called Gai Wong or Chicken King. And they specialize in one thing and one thing only and that's Hainanese chicken rice. So we're here to get some Hainanese chicken rice. Looking at the spread in front of us looks magnificent as um, obviously we will get the uh, Hainanese chicken rice. So it comes with the chicken rice, the chicken itself and the side of soup. And being the noodle person I am, I got a gonomi, which is a dry egg noodle dish with roast pork on top. And this is easily one of my top 10 most favorite dish. And I just, there's just so many memories of me growing up. And this is just what I would go for every time I visit the hawker centers. And it's so easy to make, but it's so easy to stuff up. So I'm keen to try this and see how it tastes like. Um, being the healthy uh, people we are, we got a side of greens because why not? So yep, this will, all this fiber will help us uh, push it out later. Now to wash all of that down, we got two classic drinks uh, that you drink quite a bit in Malaysia, which is a 100 plus, um, an isotonic sports drink, um, and Kickapoo Joy Juice, which is a carbonated drink, which has like a citrusy kind of flavor. So. We are very, very excited. Enough talking, let's get started. I've been waiting for this moment. I'm going to try the Hainanese chicken. So I'm gonna go with the rice first. Look at the rice. Looks good. Got you can see the ginger piece in there. And the yellow bit is from the chicken, chicken essence. essence soup. Yeah. Oh, smells really good. Mm. Savory, gingery, chickeny. Very simple but very nice. Now, you can't have Hainanese chicken rice without a chicken. Look at this piece. Oh, Ooh, look at that. It's beautiful. No bone, just all flesh. Looks super smooth. And look at the sauce just dripping. All right, go for it, go for it. Mm. So tender, so juicy so savory and so simple this is one of my favorite malaysian dish like every time when i go to a malaysian restaurant this is like my top ordered food yeah most ordered i just love it i yeah. can testify yes she always mm -hmm. gets hanan chicken rice all right on the side we have the ginger sauce and the garlic chili sauce so i'm you gonna have to go, go for the garlic chili a big chunk and with some rice oh. one bite Mmm, top. One of the top Hainanese chicken I had in Melbourne. 
love it. Must have it. My turn now. So, less talking, more eating. I'm just gonna go straight for the chicken straight away. I'm gonna put it on top. And then I'm gonna get some sauce, lay it on top. That's how you do it. A bit of chili. Yep. And then the whole thing. Now, this will just tell me. Just looking at it, I can tell it's gonna be a, a delicious, delicious bite. All right, here we go. Mmm. It's good. What makes a good Hainan chicken is that it's perfectly steamed, which this is. It's soft, it's tender, it's umami. The skin is almost like gelatinous. A nice bouncy texture that's what you want and the sauce is very subtle very light but it just brings everything together the chili has a bit of um, almost like acidic taste and you get that um, garlic you get that spice coming in it's so simple actually the flavor is so simple but it's so satisfying because it's executed beautifully this is probably the best Hainan chicken I had in Melbourne it's very good chicken is down and now it's gonna be time so let's just get started look at it it's just it's coated so beautifully you can see the oil glistening soy sauce dark soy sauce oh my god it smells so good all right mm. Mm, it's good it's a bit cold now because we've been shooting but it still tastes good now this gonna be the noodle is cooked perfectly however the sauce is just a bit on the sweet side i like mine just a bit not as sweet but it's still good now gotta have it with the char siu or the roast pork look at this beautiful beast let's go mm, yep. we've got the protein and the fat and you know sometimes when you're having roast pork there's too much fat you just feel a bit like Ugh. so this has the right proportion i think it's like one third fat two third protein for me anyway i think that's the right proportion and you're kind of gonna mean without having this pickled green chili with it as well this is uh pickled in like vinegar i think and it just cuts the fat mm. overall very satisfied and of course, gotta wash it down with some Arnold Plus. So good. Yeah. Alright, guys, it's my time to try the noodles. Smells very eggy. <laughs> hmm. The noodles texture is very al dente, perfectly cooked. Um, to me, I think the flavor it's perfectly suited for me. I really like it towards his favorite side. I like it to the sweet side. And I'm gonna try the pork now. They're very generous with the pork piece, it's quite big. It's huge. Yeah. Mm. Very simple flavor. Very barbecue and tiny bit sweet. Yep, it's got the five spice smell. Yeah, it's yeah. good. And of course, we're gonna drink the this drink. It's my first time trying it. Cake a poo. Cake a poo. <laughs> Tastes a bit like Sprite. I like it. So we're just gonna finish our lunch, and we'll see you guys at dinner. See you guys at dinner. See you guys there. Bye. Bye. Alright guys, we finally made it to our dinner location which is um, a very highly reviewed place here in Melbourne. It's called Nasi Kanda Penang and essentially they, they, they named the restaurant um, after the dish which is Nasi Kanda. So Nasi Kanda is a North Malaysian dish um, where it's like mixed curry on rice and it hails from Penang so it's really really exciting. So we came, <coughs> we came in sorry and we ordered three dishes and we're really, really excited to eat now. So let me introduce the dishes. So the first one we have is actually nasi kanda itself. So we've got two meats, 
and a vegetable. So the meat we have is a fish curry, a chicken curry, and then this is just like cabbage vegetable. And nasi kanda, what's unique about it is they mix every single curry sauce on the rice. So if you look at it, it's literally a flavor bomb ready to just hit our palate. So we're really, really excited. This is, this is their signature dish. Now, to accompany that, what we have here is a roti telo bawang, which is a roti with onions, uh, red onions, and also egg in there. And it comes with a side of um, this curry sauce on it. I'm pretty sure it's curry, curry sauce, not dal. And it's really, really affordable, and the size is huge, actually. So I, I love roti, so this is going to be a treat. And last but not least, we can't go somewhere to a Malaysian restaurant without ordering some noodles. So seeing as we're in Nasi Kanda Penang, we had to get their mamat style mee goreng. Now, I love mee goreng and I love the mamat style of mee goreng. And it's really, really, really hard to find a good one here in uh, Melbourne. I've had so much, but looking at this, this looks really authentic. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. This is something, this is what you would eat like 12 a.m. in the morning if you can't sleep. You go out to like a hawker center in Malaysia or whatever, you get a mama mee goreng. That's, that's just how it is. Don't ask any questions. And to wash all that down, we have ice holic, which is uh, like a drink. I'll put that holic photo up here somewhere. And we have a um, very Malaysian rose syrup um, ice, which is literally rose syrup. Um, ice so really excited there's a lot of food to go through so let's get started right now i'm just gonna try the nasi kanda as you can see on the plate there's a heaps of different type of curry on the rice and on the side there's a big piece of fish and some chicken here so i'm just gonna give the rice a try oh Ooh, look at that mm, it smells so good Mm. First thing I get is like the savoriness and the umami-ness from the rice because since they put so much different flavor on it you can't just simply ping to one flavor there's like so many different flavors to it and a bit spicy as so the spiciness is coming up so I'm just gonna try the fish now this is the first time I'm trying this fish. Mm. Mm. Very good. The um, fish skin is very oily and the flesh is very tender. I like it. It's my first time trying it. I like it. And the chicken is next. Let's give it a try. Alright. Ooh. Chicken looks. Chicken is very hot. Looks really tough. Ooh. Oops. I think it's deep fried. Mm. It's more, almost like a jerky texture. Deep fried jerky texture and coated with a lot of diff different spice on the outside. Yeah, not that. Like it. I'm just gonna go straight for it because I just can't wait anymore. So, just the curry on the rice. Oh. It's salty, it's fragrant, it's spicy. Mm. Oh, there's just so much like flavor. You can taste everything. Because it's like four or five different curry sauces, it's like fused together. And this is like a curry flavor bomb. So same as Jing, I'll go for the fish and a bit of rice. Look at that. It looks really, really good. Fish looks really, really tender and juicy. So I'm just going to go for it. Mmm, yep. Very clean taste. Not a strong fishy taste. The curry takes over, which is nice because the curry is a star here. Now, straight to the chicken. It does look a bit tough. It has a nice jerky consistency, but I mean, that's flavor, right? Mm, yeah. Just like Jin said, it's like a jerky consistency, it's deep fried, then it's cooked in this curry paste with tomatoes and everything. Oh, so good. Oh my god. Gotta be healthy, so 
bit of cabbage. Mm. This offers a different texture. It's light and crunchy and it goes so well with the curry. Now you're supposed to eat this with your hand but they provide a cutlery so if you eat with your hand it's more flavor. Very 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 happy with this dish. It's really good and you gotta wash it down with some rose syrup. Sweet, refreshing and light. Bon appetit! On to Mamma Mia Goreng. So you gotta squeeze the lime first. Just give it a nice squeeze. Woo All right, just wipe my fingers. Let's get going. So this is noodles, there's eggs in there, fried shallot, just so good. All right, it smells really good. You can smell the wok hay. Wow. It's savory, it's thick. There's a bit of sourness coming from the tomato. The wok essence. And you get a small bite of this like um, tofu. It's so good. It gives like a different texture. It's fantastic. This is what a real mami goreng should be. Roti Tolo Bawang, my yes. favorite. Well, one of my favorites. Look at it. See the, you can see the onion, onion and the dips, eggs in yeah. there. Wow. All right, go for it. Smells good. Dip it. Ooh. All right, here we go. Mmm. So savory and so fragrant. And the sweetness from the onion is so good. Because normally when I order roti, it's quite thin. For this one, you can see it's like got the thickness, egg and onion inside. It's a thick roti. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. Recommend. Just tear a generous piece. Yep, it's got a nice consistency. It's a bit crispy outside. Very, very soft inside. Lots of onions and eggs. Very generous. So just dip that bad boy in. Look at that. And here we go. Mm, yeah. This is good. This is handmade. You can you can you can really taste the love that went into this. This is really really good. I've had a lot of um, roti here in Melbourne, and I would say this is one of the best ones as well. Very authentic flavors. I'll go for one more just in case I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong, but just look just look at it. They're so generous with this, and you know what? This roti tel bawang, this this huge plate, this is only seven fifty. Prices might change though if you get here, <laughs> but. It's really, really good value. Big portion, cooked perfectly, sweetness on the onion, fluffiness on the egg. Oh. Yeah, for me, normally I hate onion, oh. but this one is really good. This is actually yeah. terribly good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let us just finish our feast and we'll give you our final thought outside when we're done. There's just a lot of food to go through now and we'll see you guys outside. See you guys outside, bye! bye. Hey guys, we're finally outside now. Yeah, really full. It's been a long day yep. and good journey. That's right, so say. it's been a really long day where we had a lot of Malaysian food. Yep. Uh, as we mentioned before, we can't cover all the Malaysian restaurants here uh, in Melbourne. That's just, that's just too much and they're all really, really good as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and yeah, we really, really, really enjoyed the food today. What do you think, Jing? Yeah, I love it too. Um, like two of the restaurants is actually our first time trying it. They both are really good. Yeah, let us know if you like this kind of style where we do like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, and just yeah, drop a comment. Any ideas, drop a comment. We'll always reply and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you guys next time. Bye.